we've seen a lot of zombie movies, and they're all as interesting and entertaining as the next. We've invested so much in these fantasies that there are hashtags on social media questioning if the apocalypse is approaching, and if zombies will be involved. Movies have depicted zombies in a variety of ways, but we are all more familiar with the idea of zombies as the walking dead, who eat other people, either killing them or transforming them into more zombies. It appears to be all fantasy, and no one expects zombies to appear in our world anytime soon. What do you think? Zombie kill of the week? Close, but no cigar. But everyone loves getting excited about this idea, but truthfully, there are already actual zombies in our world. They are different creatures than humans. And they appear to be the most despised among us. Insects. Insects are strange creatures that cover more than 80% of the planet, implying that the Earth is actually theirs, and humans are merely insignificant creatures. Zombie insects are insects in which a fungus or parasite inhabits and grows, controlling the insect's normal behavior, and causing them to sometimes kill themselves. In this video I will introduce you to 10 real zombie insects that exist in our world. Number 10. Honey bees. Honey bees have certain disorders just like us humans. The colony collapse disorder was a phenomenon that was first discovered in 2006, when millions of bees mysteriously disappeared. When researchers and experts noticed the sudden disappearance, they suspected the presence of a parasite or fungus that controls bee behavior. Apocephalus borealis, a fly discovered by researchers, lands where the bee resides, injecting its eggs into the bee's abdomen, and then, as soon as the eggs hatch, the bee's behavior changes and it loses control, flying chaotically and losing its balance by stumbling into things. When this happens, the bee leaves its nest at night and flies for a few miles before landing on the ground. A few days later, a swarm of flies begin to rip their way out of the helpless bee's body. Number 9. Pill bugs. Also known as really pulleys. Acanthocephala, a parasitic worm, is usually the victim of pill bugs. This worm lives in the pill bugs' bodies, and has complete control over them, transforming them into their own mode of transportation, that will transport them to their true hosts, a bird called the European starling. Once these pill bugs are hosted, they no longer possess their natural characteristics, thus, instead of remaining in the dark, they would move into completely open areas, becoming attracted to light and serving themselves as a delicious meal for those starlings. Because they are so visible and easy to be spotted, this evil Akinthosophala transforms the pill bug into a defenseless zombie that puts itself in danger until it is eaten by a starling. At this point, the parasite begins mating with another parasite inside that bird. Number 8. Amber Snails Snails, in general, do not appear to have the best of lives, but because they have hard shells, they can protect themselves from predators. Snails are usually bound to avoid open spaces and light, but this does not protect them from being zombified by a parasite known as Leucochloridium paradoxum. These parasitic worms are actually transferred to the snail, if it eats birds' feces. These worms lay eggs inside the snail, which hatch into muricidae or larvae that develop into sporocysts. These sporocysts are more like swollen tubes that replace the snail's eye stalks, completely blinding it, so the snail can go out in the sunlight and attract birds to eat them, and the cycle continues indefinitely. Number 7. Ladybugs. The Dinocampus cachinli is usually the host of ladybugs. When this wasp finds a suitable ladybug, it uses a stinger to penetrate the beetle's abdomen and implant an egg. It only takes a few days for the egg to hatch and the larva to begin absorbing nutrients from the ladybug's body before becoming partially paralyzed, but it is still alive and can move slightly to alert predators that it is still alive. When the implanted wasp matures, it emerges from the ladybug's body, and the ladybug can continue on with its life if it survives its zombification process. Have any of these zombie insects gotten under your skin? Number 6. Grasshoppers. The parasite that preys on grasshoppers and ants is Strepsoterma mucolacidae. It is thought to be the most gentle parasite on the list. They are actually flies with different preferences, with the females preferring to host grasshoppers and the males preferring to host ants. A female fly would seek out a suitable grasshopper, latch onto it, and begin snaring it with enzymes. These enzymes work by burning a hole through the grasshopper's abdomen until it reaches the inside, at which point it begins secreting more enzymes, forcing the host's body to produce a sac that protects the fly from the antibodies. The female fly remains in the grasshopper's abdomen and continues to attract male flies, but the grasshopper goes about its business, seemingly unaware of what is going on inside its belly. Number 5. Bumblebee. Hold on, not that one guys. Canopidae larvae usually select bumblebees as their ideal hosts. They begin to control the bees' behavior and lead them to dig their own graves, just like many other parasites. 
The conifid is a fly that injects its egg into the back of a bumblebee, and when it hatches, the larva begins feeding on the inside of the bumblebee, eating it alive and causing it to act more unsteadily, because its internal organs are being eaten away. A few days later, the bumblebee may try to bury itself, and the larva will continue living inside the bumblebee for protection, until it emerges as an adult fly, and repeats the cycle with other bees. If you have found this video entertaining so far, please like and subscribe and maybe share it with a friend. Number 4. Gypsy Moth Caterpillar Now that we've established how these zombification occur, we'll get to the details of the subject. The Gypsy Moth Caterpillar is actually the victim of a parasite called the Baculavrus, which controls the hosts and forces them to collapse in a gooey liquid. The Baculavrus behaves more like a virus, causing caterpillars to climb a tree and remain motionless until it dissolves and falls on the tree leaves, where it is eaten by other caterpillars. Number 3. Giant Gliding Ants Giant gliding ants are an ant species that lives on very high surfaces, approximately 130 feet above the ground, and builds their nests in the treetops. These species are also victims of Myrmecanema neotropicum, a parasite that transforms them into zombie insects. The ants that live that high above the ground are expected to die if they fall to the ground, but as the name giant gliding ants suggests, they appear to have a way of easily returning to their nests, and it is gliding. Scientists and experts have discovered that these ants have naturally black rear ends, but these ends can turn bright red for no apparent reason, and the ant keeps pushing it in the air when it turns bright red. Scientists wanted to discover the secret behind the rear ends changing color, so they dissected the ant's gaster, which is the abdominal segment on most ants. They discovered that this particular part was full of parasitic eggs that appear to be changing the behavior of the ant. Scientists discovered that these parasitic eggs release a chemical that disrupts the ant's pheromone cycle, and forces it to move slowly, while its gaster is thrust up in the air, causing the red eggs to become visible through the ant's shell, and explaining why its rear end appears red. The parasite spreads throughout the forest because the ant will resemble the berries that the birds normally eat, making the ant visible for the birds to see and eat. As a result, the bird will become infected, and its feces will contain those eggs, which will be eaten by other ants, perpetuating the cycle. Number 2. Cornier Worm Moth the cornerworm moth is a victim of the HE2V virus. Because this virus can only be transmitted through sexual contact, it relies on forcing two cornerworms to mate, allowing it to spread quickly. The virus does not get enough when it is transmitted by the first two worms, so it disrupts the centers of sex production for the female moths, causing her to look for another mate, as soon as she finishes mating with another. This way, the female cornerworm moths never stop mating with other cornerworm moths until they die, spreading the STD throughout the moth population. Last but not least, Number 1 on this list. Carpenter ants. Researchers have long been fascinated by the relationship that exists between ants and the fungi that transforms them into zombies. The carpenter ant is one of these ants that can turn into zombies, and there are four different species of carpenter ants. Each of them has their own fungus, one of them is a victim of a fungus called a phycordyceps. This fungus can poison an ant, and once poisoned, it appears to lose control of itself, so it climbs a tree and unconsciously bites on the leaves until it dies. However, a few days after the death, a rot mushroom begins to develop and grow out of the back of the ant's head, preparing it to spread the infection throughout the area. Researchers have discovered that healthy ants can recognize their zombie counterparts, and know that it is best to stay as far away from them as possible. Well that's the end of today's video. Did these zombie insects creep you out? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next strange and unusual video.